but stealing something from the Blue Palace and then putting it on display in your museum, which is public, seems a fairly daft thing to do. And we're not daft, are we? I mean, occasionally a little unwise, but we're not daft. Are we? Oh my God, I got his crown. I got his actual crown. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Quiet. And... Did I hear movement? Doesn't matter. Let's get out of here. Make a quick replica. It just doesn't feel right. I know it's the sensible plan. We can just wait a few months until it's essentially common knowledge that we've got this replica, and then we can go get the real thing. That way no one will suspect we took it. I mean, why would we? We've already got a replica. But until we do, I'll know, and it bothers me. It does bother me. Yes, being sensible bothers me. And talking about being sensible, what I'm thinking now, in a go, is I need to get myself a bit better prepared for the coming few days. Now, one of the things that I was thinking while I was in the Blue Palace was it might be a good idea if I get my armour enchanted. For example, fire resistance. You know, maybe I should get your stuff fire resistant as well. And we should go at night because, you know, mm, her condition and everything. But that means we need something else to wear. I was thinking, though, that might not be a terrible idea. You know, make ourselves a little less... Mm, conspicuous? Ooh. You know, I mean, I'm Leonard, the Thane of absolutely everywhere, and the, uh, the relic hunter for the museum. But if we just dress up a little uh, differently... Um, please. That does look good, but also looks a little awkward. Now, I am actually thinking of perhaps taking out the old uh, thieves armor, just for old time's sake, but for walking around the city, I want something that has, Ooh. I want something with style, but I want something that once again blends in a little. I look well to do, but not necessarily like the Thane of everywhere, you know, Leonard the Dragonborn. And I can't help but feel the good old days could be a thing. We really should think about giving you a change of outfit too. I'm not totally sure. Ah, pirate in a go. I sort of feel like you need a cape. You definitely need boots. 
But it's got a kind of swagger, doesn't it? it? It's... I will grant you it doesn't have the sort of class and gravitas of our usual outfits, but that's kind of what we're going for. We're going for well-to-do, fun-loving, adventurous types who are definitely not the Dragonborn. Although, I am now beginning to wonder about the blue fur. I don't suppose there's any chance you'd let me dye your fur? Actually, that's pretty good with the, with the cape. It's kind of... Well, it's... It's kind of you. Not necessarily your coloration, I will admit, but, you know... Definitely, look at the... I don't think... You're gonna hate this. What can I do for you? But that sword is kind of... I will bear your burdens gladly. Yeah, I mean, I mean, it's probably going to be bad enough that they're looking for a, a blue Khajiit. But a blue Khajiit with a glowing sword, it's... Pr if, if we want to go with the All pirate set. thing... I mean, look at us, look at us, this is... This is just a totally different us. No one will suspect that I am Leonard, Thane of everywhere, and apparently now the Dragonborn. We're incognito. And yes, before you ask, I am, in fact, enjoying this. So you can't add resist fire uh, um, please. to everything. This is poison. It's reactive barrier. Being struck by a fire, frost, or shock spell or effect reduces damage from that element by 7%. I mean, it's not awful, it's mildly up. I mean, can you do two of them at what? No. Oh, oh, no, no, no. It's, it has, in fact, got... Ah, right, no. So it's 36% resistance to poison. Can you not do anything a little... I don't know. Strong... Enchanting 60. I'm... Ah, uh, yeah, no, sorry, uh, made a mistake. Yes, um, it was, it was nice speaking to you again. Okay, don't say anything, but she's not actually very good at that, is she? Perhaps, Inigo, we should actually use the enchanter that's at the college. That makes way more sense. I want to travel there in the middle of the night. I mean, it's a little out of the way. We haven't quite decided what we're doing yet. We've just been sort of running around... Well, playing dress-up. Actually, this works out really well for us, Inigo. I mean... The last anyone will have seen of Thane Leonard and Inigo was that they travelled to Winterhold and entered the college, which is perfectly reasonable, seeing as I happen to be the Archmage here. And thus, when we slip out, dressed as common adventurers, everyone will assume we're still here, secluded up in some magical experiment. And I'm guessing these cultists might be slightly less likely to send assassins here. Although if they do... Perhaps we could take the day off and just lounge around. I am joking, of course. Maybe. No, of course, that's what we're going to do, Inigo. We're going to hang around here and, you know, just lounge around. Well done, that man. Uh, does there happen to be any college business I can assist with? I need some more supplies. Can you help out with that? Uh, I can't get soul gems for you. I have other things to do. Uh, what, what did you need? I'm running low on lesser soul gems. I can probably... Bring me another seven of them, if you can. I probably, I probably, okay. Uh, anyway, I'm actually here to get something enchanted. I'm sure you can figure it out on your own. If you can't, perhaps Urag has a book you can read. 
Whoa, 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 no, 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 no. I've got, I have literally come all the way to Winterhold to use your enchanting services. No, no, I can't. I have enough to keep me busy. View it as a chance to hone your craft. But no! I am the Ark Mage! Until next time. God, there may not be a next time for you, you lazy, good for nothing bum! And of course, I completely forgot that there's no carriage in Winterhold. So I'm going to have to ride back to civilization. I say civilization, to Windhelm to take the carriage to. Morthal? If we're going to pick that horn up, I think Morthal is the closest place. This day really is not turning out to be much fun. <sighs> See, this is a chance to improve your craft. That was snark, that was. That was a bitter man having a go because I got the job of Archmage and he didn't. You're the Archmage, you should be able to do this yourself, surely. And it's that attitude that probably made sure that nobody even thought about letting him become the Archmage. Does Windhelm have a court wizard? I should probably wander around and check all of the cities and figure out which of the wizards is the best at enchanting. Farangar. He could be a good choice. I have had some um, enchanting done in Riften before. She always seemed a little forgetful, but that's not necessarily an indication that she's not good at her craft, so I should probably keep that in mind. I do seem to remember some discussion of there being a wizard in Morthal. I do seem to remember that. And I don't ever remember meeting a wizard in Windhelm. Not that I've done a huge amount of exploration of Windhelm, because it's Windhelm. And that, of course, sort of brings up the other downside to using any enchanting services in Windhelm. Because, of course, once the job is done, we have to once again return to Windhelm. And I'm pretty sure nobody is particularly keen on that. Yeah, let's just get straight to Morthal. See if we can find uh, the wizard there. And then be on our way and find that need a ride? horn. Where do you want to go? Uh, Morthal. Climb and back and we'll be off. Now, a court wizard would almost certainly be found in the Jarl's longhouse, and I'm guessing this is it. Now, I've never met this Jarl before. You're different, aren't you? Not like anyone else. Not in Morthal or Skyrim. No, no, no. We're, we're perfectly normal, average adventurers. We're not different at all, except perhaps we have a pathological hatred for that sound. Um, yeah, we've not met the Jarl here. We kind of got sidetracked from the let's introduce ourselves to all of the Jarls plan by the college. I'm thinking now is not necessarily the best time to continue with that plan. We're sort of incognito. All right, I'm looking. You do not look like a wizard. Um, probably should say hi. Okay, hello? You are troubled, oh. Gorm. No, no, I'm fine. Is there something you need? No, Gorm, I am simply telling you what I see. Yes, okay. Well, thank you. Okay, uh... Hi. So, life has brought you to Morthal and to me. What purpose this serves, we will no doubt see. No, Welcome. not at all. 
I, okay, well, uh, I was wo wondering if you... How was it? I heard somebody else. I, um, I hear you want someone to look into the house. Why, did I hear something about that? No, we don't. We're, um, is there some kind of trouble in Morthal? That which is unknown can create unease, even fear. It is to be expected. Some fear our new resident wizard. As they grow to know him, they that... will accept him. Time will prove me right. Uh, where exactly could I find the... W um, never mind, thank you. It was, it was an absolute pleasure... Until next time. Speaking to you... You're not the Cork Wizard. That's a fair... You're not the Cork Wizard either. That's a bedroom. Oh. Hello? Asselfur? If you've business with the Jarl, I'd ask that you speak to me first. Oh. Okay, more... Okay, Morthal seems like a quiet little town. That's what many here wanted. A quiet life and a quiet place without the noise or the trouble of a city. Now some worry this wizard, Falion, will foul it all up. Falion! That's... Uh... What was that argument outside the hall? Yeah, first time we visited here, there was a bit of a commotion, wasn't there? Ah, you saw that, did you? Life in Morthal has been troubled lately. The people are uncertain, restless. They merely look to the Jarl for leadership. Uh, what is... what's going wrong here? There's news of rebellion against the Empire. Strange noises have been heard in the marshes at night. And then, the tragedy with Rogar's home. The men simply seek wisdom. Everything will be fine. Okay, um, yeah, I'm not quite looking for work at the moment. I, I, may, mm -hmm. I may be back one day to, uh, to, to, to offer my services, but I really want to speak to the wizard right now. It doesn't seem like there's trouble here. It's very quiet, mind you. Maybe that's the problem. It actually seems quite nice, actually. A little... Please don't mind Yorick. He's not mad. Really, he's not. Yorick. Oh, okay. Thank I you. I get lost sometimes. I'm not sure where I go, but I'm not... I'm not here. Ah. So, um... Where would a wizard... I don't... Likely... I haven't Mother's Gift. Not quite, but I've seen things. Okay, hello. Okay, well, okay. Idgrod the Young. Are you? Someday I'll be Jarl. Mother reminds me often. I hope I can help the people of Morthal the way she has. You said something about a gift. What's wrong with Yorick? My brother is sensitive. He has trouble focusing his attention on things. We were taking him to the Temple of Kinnereth in Whiterun. Just so the healers could make sure he was in good health. And they say he's fine. Are you heading to Whiterun? Could you take this letter to the priestess? Danica Pure Spring? It's a note about Yorick's health. Of course, yes, of course. I'd be glad to help. Thank you. Yes, absolutely. Uh, do you happen to know Gorn where I could find a wizard? Hello? He say one of the guards it. said he saw a mage appear out of thin air. Claimed it was one of those Sijic monks. Man's been hitting the skooma, I say. Okay, uh, I don't really want to talk about a burned down. All right then. It's difficult sometimes. Unless that's something to do with the mage. To know whether uh, what I see is real or not. I'm getting a sneaking suspicion. I have somehow ended up at. For now, looking after Yorick is okay. my job. Yes, thank you. Could you stop following me? I mean, I, I, I'm, I'm hungry. Ah, uh, she's a little clingy, isn't she? She's chasing the kid around. Looks like he just wants to be left alone. Oh! Um. Damn! Well, okay, that's someone on a horse. Uh, we're, we're looking for a mage. But it's... Oh, let's go to the, the inn. The My inn. Mother sees things. I have a feeling I know where his house is. Don't ask me how I know Sometimes these things. I'm just, I'm, I'm innately attuned to people's, uh... Is that the house they keep talking about? Don't get involved right now. Not no, no, no. Moorside Inn. Finally, someone comes in. 
Kick off your boots, stay a while. Let me know if there's anything I can help you with. I got nothing but time these days. That's uh, that's nice. I was I was hoping to um Do you know where I could find the mage? There ain't running an inn weren't my plan. But Follian decided to move here, so I joined him. Yeah. Is business in Morthal slow? Slow? No. It just ain't there at all. Few enough reasons to pass through Morthal before the war started. Now, well, let's just say the front door doesn't get much use. Okay. This is not helpful. I'm looking for the wizard. I yeah. just don't mm -hmm. want to break into a wizard's house. Call me crazy, but that seems to be a somewhat, um... Terrible plan. And I'm not into terrible plans. So we can either... Are you wading around in the water? We can either wait for him to come out... Or, uh... Call back later. We could call back, back later, couldn't we? Um... Yeah, maybe we do that. Maybe we do that. Maybe we do that. We could, for now, just head out north, through the marsh, and go to Ustengrab and get that bloody horn for the Greybeards. Then swing back this way and see if we can enlist the wizard's services. Assuming... He's gotten out of bed. What time is it? it? It's 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 early afternoon. He should be about doing. I see it. I see it. I see it. Oh okay. no! Don't fall in the water. Oh, okay. Shut, shut, old man. Trying to push me off the bloody bridge. And we just follow this path into the marsh and when it ends we should be close to Ustin Gra I think okay we we just need to keep going around the edge of the water and why do Morvath's there. Crouch is nervous about this area. His ears are shaking. Yeah, I can understand that. That does seem to be a reasonable re action. That's a tree trunk. That's not a tree trunk. Don't. What is that? Okay, I don't think that's where we're going, but it does look somewhat curious, doesn't it? Um, oh god, spitty horrible things! Alright, you know what? When in a marsh, do not be curious. New rule, do not be curious when in a place that is wet and soggy. I see people. I see people. Okay. Someone there. Was that? Is that? Was, was it? It's is that. That's. Okay, what? Okay, bandits. Just. just ow! ow! Magical bandits. Right. Novice. All right. Psst. Okay, come here. Get dead. Target down. Target down. Yep. Yeah. Is that another bloody nern room? What is it about today and nern roots? Okay, so that's probably. Uh, a sign that we need to get our uh, heads back in the uh, game, so to speak. I think we've been, uh, you know, pondering other things for long enough. Now I need to ponder how to not get killed whilst acquiring 
this horn. <clears throat> Do you think the necromancers live here? Or they're here for some sort of purpose? It's just the camp seems very temporary. There's another body down there. You didn't kill that guy down there, did you? Right. I get the feeling something is going on here. I don't need death bell, but... Yeah. I'm just not totally sure what... Okay, dude. Bandit. Yeah, bandits and necromancers, is that? I mean, I always think of necromancers as being somewhat solitary in nature, you know, I mean... Necromancers are not the sort of people other people want to spend time with. There's something about... Oh dear. Just ignore it. There's something about raising the dead that is a little, um... Well, you know... Antisocial. Call me prejudice against it, but it's somewhat, um... Disturbing. Right, you know what? Before we go in there, let's just make sure we have everything prepared. I'm thinking paralysis. I mean, one hit from this and you're going to be paralysed for a minute. And if you make it to the minute, I will be long gone. I'm thinking for the Blade of Woe, though, we stick with something a little more... You know, with a Blade of Woe, I generally like to hit people lots and lots because I actually get healed by it. So something like that's probably more appropriate. That's an undead killer, and seeing as we're facing necromancers, let's keep it that way. And, of course, undead are notoriously immune to poison. This feels strangely like old times, doesn't it? Sneaking in places. Hearing very worrying sounds. Okay, that's a bandit. You didn't kill this guy. You didn't nip in here. No, it would seem that necromancers and bandits are, um... You know, at each other's throats. I'm still hearing sounds of... Well, actually, I don't know what. Spells? Okay, I'm just going to go and... I will be here when you return. Sneak ahead. Stay there. That's mining. Oh my god, it's dark. Is there a body there? I thought I saw so oh god, it's so very dark. The thing is, I have sort of run out of components for the night eye potions, which is unfortunate. And there's no alchemy bench nearby. Maybe this one down there. I'll tell you what, I'm not sneaking down there without No, I'm not. Okay. And, right, another dead bandit, I assume. That, is that an undead miner? I'm, I'm getting the sensation of, they sort of, they've got that little blue. These thralls of yours are slower than Argonians in a blizzard. Feel free to grab a pick and help them out. I prefer not to sully myself with manual labor. Oh, there goes another one. Bah, weak-willed rabble. Even dead, they're almost useless. So they're killing bandits so that they can raise them and turn them into miners? What? Someone will suffer for this injustice. 
Someone there. Uh, have I been... Have I been spotted? It's really dark here. Hear something? How would they spot me? They seem less intelligent each time you raise them. If that's even possible. As long as they can swing a pickaxe where I tell them, they're as smart as we need them to be. Oh. You hear Someone that? There. The others must have found something. Some... We'd better go see. These can... Someone there. Okay, the others must have found something? What was that? Huh? Okay, these guys are freaking out. Is... Okay, they've gone. Interesting. That is a draugr. Now, normally necromancers don't create draugrs. But you would imagine they'd be at home with them. Okay. No. Whoa! Okay, is this is this like is this like an ebony mine or something? Uh So have they just gone? Apparently so. And where did they go? Down there. So. What do we have over here? Uh. Bandit plunderer. Yeah. So they're here searching for something. They said one of the others may have found something. And they went off to investigate. In you go. We're moving on. Thought I saw something for a second. to the shadows. Okay. Stay there. And... Okay, lock. I'm here in Draugr. I'm hearing fighting. And Okay, it looks like the Draugr won. So the necromancers are definitely not in Oh. Sh Why do I feel like I'm getting Spotted. Right. I don't suppose you're going to go away and leave your friend here with his back to me, are you? Oh, maybe, maybe, maybe. Yeah, wander off, wander off. Turn around, turn around. Go the other way. Go the other way. Or stand there in a really annoying manner. Until I lose my patience and do something stupid. Oh god, he's coming this way. Okay. No, no, no. Do you know that far away? Just, 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 just. Oh, God. You're at the end of my bow, you musty monstrosity. 
guess indeed. Okay, so it's just I can smell magic and death, but no horns so far. Right, horns would be bad, yes? Okay, so it's just basic Draugr which we can handle, and apparently the mages are so weak they can't actually handle them. So we should probably not have too much trouble with them either. Although, again, it it's always best to not underestimate wizards. It just... I always hate looting with night vision on you. Uh, yes. Yes. Let's... Where was it? Um... Mage, where are you? Are you... My God, I can barely see you. Turn the night vision on. <laughs> Bring the light with you. Oh, I'm enjoying that. I am abs... Actually, you know what? I probably should not assume... All is well. Okay, that's one of those trap things, isn't it? Goldsmiths, but a lot of very rich Draugr. I tell you what, let's loot in a second. First of all, let's just look around. All right. I don't see anyone around there. Bring the light over. You look good, you look good. Bring it a little closer. Nice. Might want to work on that spell a little so that I can see further. Uh. Okay. So... I am not a secret entrance honest. Okay, I think that's everything in this area. I wonder how valuable the horn is. Maybe the graybeards will let you keep it. We deserve a reward for suffering this place. Yeah, I have a feeling they're not going to let us keep it. But that doesn't necessarily mean we can't, you know, take it back. If you get my drift. Right? I think I think that was everything. I'm I'm really enjoying that. It's just it's just very nice. Right, so we're gonna continue on this way, although I think probably what I'm going to want to do is go in night vision until I know for sure that we don't have company. Okay, do not take too long. Okay, we've got a passage down here. And one up here. This is a large open area. Aha! Uh -huh. I see a Draugr. And... Oh, you know what? How dark does it get? That... Oh! I don't need... Septins exactly, but just leaving them lying around is ah. Interesting. Perhaps a way to bypass a more dangerous and unrewarding part of this particular crypt. Oh. Yep, absolutely. Come on. Moving out. No need to go there. I'm 
not convinced there will be any... Th the honed ancient Nord. Great sword. Do I have a honed ancient Nord great sword? I had a quick list made for the... Oh, God. Just... Nope, we've got that one. We've actually got that one. Okay. And... Maybe this will just lead us straight to wherever the horn is. That would be nice. Or perhaps it would just lead to... Wait, this doesn't go anywhere. This doesn't go anywhere. This is... This is... This is a dead end. Um... K. But... There was even a lever on the other side that looks like the sort of lever you'd get if you wanted to make a quick escape from somewhere. But how would we get here? If not... I mean... You don't think that opened something else somewhere else, do you? We, we can check. I, I, I just, I feel... <sighs> oh, we were going to be able to skip stuff. I should have known, shouldn't I? With the day I'm having, I should have bloody well known. All right, let's, uh... Get back to being... Sneaky until we... I have no choice but to get hitty and stabby. Okay. All right. Again, only Draugr. We fought a dragon. We fought a dragon, they're only Draugr. They are Draugr with axes and swords that can probably kill me if I let them hit me. But they're not dragons. Stay in the shadows. Didn't I just tell you? I will be here when you return. Okay, I'm in the shadows. I'm in the shadows. If I go straight forward, I stay in the shadows. Unfortunately, he's staring right at me. Okay, no, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. Oh! Ah, the other one is, and he's got spells. Shoot him! No, 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 no. How can I help you, my friend? Oh. Um. Actually, what, what I wanted to do was just just, okay, just attack him. my back. I'm watching it. I'm watching it. Shoot him. He's still looking at me for some odd reason. You will not learn from this. Well, that draugr. They don't really get much in the way of learning opportunities on account of their brains being mush. Although I say that, I, some of them do seem to exhibit signs of intelligence. Amulet of Zenithar. British. I do need a honed ancient Nordic battle axe. That is one I do need. We're not falling for it. I'm really ancient no one. Really hate wasting the poisons. Just I don't backstab very well with this. Oh, I, I do, however, I actually do have a silver dagger with me, so I don't need to waste the poison. And silver's pretty good against undead. Pretty good against undead. And not currently poisoned, so not wasteful. Let's see a potion? 
ruined books. I've got loads of ruined books, and honestly, uh, she doesn't seem to be um, making anything particularly interesting. I'm, I'm talking about the explorer woman. She takes ruined books and can make things, and it usually ends up being spell tomes. Which is not terrible, exactly, but... I was hoping for something rare that could be, you know, placed in the museum. Have people come and go, ooh, ah. Okay. All right, are you ready to go onwards? Into the depths of Ustengrav? Okay, do not take too long. When do I ever take too long? Okay. So we've got many more bare foot denizens of the dead. Oh, I like how that sound. Barefoot denizens of the dead. That'd make a good book title, wouldn't it? Barefoot denizens of the dead, written by Leonard, the superb adventurer and relic hunter. Oh, yeah. I could go for that. Uh, okay, what is that? That's a bridge going across to what? a lot of them, I think. I'm hearing many. Okay, you are going that way. And thus. Nope, got all of that. I'm still hearing... You're hearing that too, right? Okay. Uh, right. Definitely something interesting over there. Something interesting. Okay. Iron ore vein. No thanks. Wow! God 